Uh, my name is Sarah Ramdeen. I'm a PhD student at the School of Information and Library Science at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Uh, I am studying information seeking behavior, specifically of scientists. I, I worked as a geologist for seven years and I'm really interested in how do we facilitate better science by uh, not just managing data, but also uh, helping to create systems that replicate some of the workflows and processes that scientists go through on a daily basis now that we have that technology that might replace some of that or augment, not necessarily just replace. So um, I can't remember the first time I heard about EarthCube. It must have been either at an ESIP meeting or maybe GSA, but I got really excited about it. This was something that I wanted to be part of. And it sounds odd coming from information and library science, but it's and not the domain sciences, but I believe that they're going to start funding and creating the standards and infrastructures that will help facilitate science. And I feel like my field can really add to that conversation as to how do we understand what scientists need to do from that outside perspective of not actually being the scientist, not being in the daily work and being able to understand the priorities and uh, how to, to step outside of oneself, if you will. Well, I think open is a great point because people consider often they're worried about publishing and they're worried about getting people having access to their data. And open doesn't necessarily mean that. Open just means that we're creating the infrastructure so that you can share your data in the future if you want to, and so that you can save it, so that it's there forever for you to access again. And I think um, there's a misnomer as to where the open's applying. And I think the open is more applying to the infrastructure and to the processes and not necessarily to the data itself. And um, I do think that that's an important system to think about across different domains is that how do I save my stuff so that anyone could access it, so I can access it, so I know what it is. And I think there's a lot of um, decision making regarding that that shouldn't have to be pushed down to the scientists themselves. So maybe in the future we will have part of that be your training as how do you become a scientist, as how do you manage your data. But I think some of those decision making are sort of should be taken out of the role of scientist and be put someplace else so that you can dedicate yourself to doing science and someone else is making some of those decisions as to how it's being captured and how it's being preserved for the long term. I think it will provide some of the structure for that and not necessarily the decision making for how that gets done, but sort of the standardization of how the community has decided these things will be done in the future and what they and provide the support and infrastructure for making those decisions and leveraging those decisions so that they exist for a larger community as opposed to just within your narrow scope of your project, your research team, your university. But now you'll be able to do that with groups who are doing similar projects on a larger scale without having to confer with them to make decisions about what is best for us because someone else is already taking care of that and you'll just be depositing your things into the system or working within that system or helping to create it if that's part of what you want to do. Jesse, wow. <laughs>